Good morning, everybody. We are up early and, and we're out. I'm still half asleep, <laughs> um, but we have an extremely, extremely busy day ahead of us. Um, the most important thing, well, no, the most important thing for you guys is that we are going to check out the new reef formation store that's opened up in Covent Garden. We're going to go see what they've got, check out the store, do a little try on and see what's new in. I know you guys love the reformation trials. Yes, Stefania is going to be trying on stuff as well. So you've got two body types trying some stuff on. Then we have two events. It's all twos to do two, two today. We have two events, uh, one with Wonder Skin in Notting Hill and the other with a sustainable shoe brand, which I'm very excited for. They are a bit later on in the day. And in between that, we have to go and pick up a bag for a friend from a shop that I've never been before, nor have I heard of before. So we'll see what this brand is about. I'm not sure if it's sustainable. Um, and yeah, I can't think of, I'm sure I've forgotten something. That's enough, no? I hope so. <laughs> That's enough. So, a day in London, the sun is shining. For now, it's supposed to be raining, so I don't know what's going on. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it stays like this. Just in case. Steph's got the umbrella. I don't even know who we're representing in this. I don't know, but I forgot we had that clear one. Oh. I actually feel really warm. I do as well. Oh dear. <laughs> On our way to reformation and just past our kit, didn't know that it was in Covent Garden. I've been looking for a maxi down jacket. This is quite long. I probably want it longer, but I think it's really nice. It's made from recycled down. It's really warm, it's got pockets, and it's also got like this, like opening, like poppers that you can open the sides if you want. But yeah, I quite like this. It's got a hood and like a high collar to prevent wind, keep you nice and warm. It's an option, it is an option. I've seen one in Save the Duck as well on Farfetch, which I'm gonna try, but this is an option. And they also have it in khaki, which I really like, I might pop it on. So this is the khaki green one. And I think actually this is a different jacket because this doesn't have the poppers on the side and it's actually got a better fit. It's more oversized. I wanted something a bit more fitted, but it fits better than the other one, I think. So if I've got this in black, it's got, this one hasn't got a hood though. No hood, but really high collar. I don't know. This has loads of options. This is really lovely color. These short ones are really lovely as well. They have sort of pull at the back so you can shape the jacket a bit and it comes in black and also this sort of light sage colour. You can see it's pulled in there. I love that. On short jackets just gives you a bit more shape. Don't look like a sack of potatoes. This dress is so cute for the festive season. Midi length, long sleeved. I'd pop a belt on this and this could be an option. This could be an option. These are staple jumpers and they are so soft. Like, I don't know, I've probably got it in my head from fast fashion stores from when I shopped when I was younger. They're quite like hard and on the skin. This is so soft. I am looking at this color. It's not coming out well in the video uh, because of the lighting, but they've got it in this sort of lemon gray and taupe but I am placing an order online after being in this store today um, to try on at home but look at this Tillis skirt oh my goodness pending our kit try on Reformation sits on King Street just before Covent Garden and it is a beautiful store. Looks so nice, good size, it's quite big. I think it's bigger than the one in Notting Hill, doesn't it? So excited to see what they've got.
in the changing room you can charge your phone and also order more stuff on a screen but that genius first up i have a two-piece this skirt that i actually ordered in my last reformation order at home but i didn't get the blazer so i sent it back for the blazer but this is the matching blazer so i've tried it on in store i absolutely love this it's a crop blazer so obviously you could wear it with the skirt as a set or with high-waisted jeans, leggings, um, anything high-waisted really you could get away with the blazer and of course the skirt you could pair with anything. I actually got it on with my boots that I'm wearing today but I still think this is quite a cute look. The skirt, I have in a size 2 and it's too big for me surprisingly um, but it's a bit short so if you're comfortable with the shortness I would wear a pair of like big knickers or shorts underneath this to feel more comfortable but I really love it. Steph's waiting for me outside in. What have you tried on? So jeans. I think they look nice. No? And I love this colour. What a lovely jumper. It's so soft. Beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Lovely colour. It's a beautiful red. Very rich. So I have been eyeing up this piece online for quite some time. It's very interesting and it's very comfortable. It's in this like silver, it's, it literally feels like I'm wearing nothing. And it's long sleeved crew neck and it's just got this little slit and gathered detail here, which I absolutely love. Margot skirt I'll link it below um, I might need to size up because I think I, I feel like this lit needs to be relaxed it's pulling too much it fits me fine around the waist but maybe I just need to give more space around the bottom but very cute skirt and look at this top oh my goodness it's in this like wine deep red um, velvet material it's got this beautiful sweetheart neckline off the shoulder that is just perfect for this time of year you can wear it with a skirt you can wear it with high-waisted jeans i'd wear it with um faux leather really cute i know this comes in several colors but i really love uh, this color so stefania's got on a shirt from here and a sort of like cashmere west waist west waistcoat with these beautiful pearl buttons. I, know, I, do I think like this is so nice on you, Stefania. Not with these jeans. Obviously. Not with these jeans, these no. Socks. Oh, socks has just made the outfit. But I really love this look. I think even with like black jeans, brown leggings, knee high boots, really, really beautiful piece. Really suits you. I'm not sure about this, for me. Well, let's ask everyone to comment below. I like the shirt though. Should Stefania get this or not? The shirt's lovely. So I've been looking for a midi cashmere black dress. I've been searching and searching and Reformation have one um, and it's lovely, it's soft. The only thing is I wanted a bit more volume in the leg and this one has a slit. So 
So I don't know whether I want that, but this is a really lovely option. So I popped on this black wool coat that I've been eyeing up. I have another coat from here in a sort of like stone color. And I do have a black coat, but it's quite short and I've been wanting an oversized one. This is fitting the bill perfectly. It's simple, timeless. It's oversized, but it doesn't swamp me. I'm not the tallest of girls, so things can sort of make you look a bit overwhelmed. But I, I really like this. I wasn't expecting to like this as much as I do. My goodness. So we have Steph on the little reformation catwalk over here in this cashmere like jumper dress. Very cute in this brown that she loves. It's so nice. Let's get a close look. I love it. So beautiful with a belt and like some chunky boots. What colour belt? Black. I know you don't like to I hear like that, black. but you Henrietta, need to learn to like black. 285. I have a two piece on, but the top won't do up and you can't buy these in separate sizes it's the one size so i have this on in a 10 uk 10 it fits me perfectly but obviously around my bust it's not fitting so i'd have to size up completely which i just think is going to look too oversized on the bottoms but i just think this is such a beautiful set i have a huge obsession with cashmere midi dresses so i couldn't let this one go by without trying it on it's in this beautiful like chocolate brown that you're seeing a lot um within their knitwear it's funny it's had quite a few on this one has like a double split slit split double slit turtleneck sleeveless absolutely beautiful how cute does steph look with the boots i love it as soon as i saw this dress i thought of you i saw this in the summer i think it comes in other colors but i actually quite like this give us a spin katarina what size do you have it in uk 10. it's so cute love it absolutely love it okay i am obsessed look at this oh my goodness i've been eyeing this piece up since beginning of the year and um, it went out of stock now it's back and i just need an excuse to wear this beautiful print absolutely beautiful and i have this one in a size uk4 which is my true to size I'm surprised you picked this up. I love it. Absolutely. Do you think it's too short for me? No. No? Again with the boots, not but it's these, a vibe. No, not with these no these would have to be like I heels. Take them off. So this is in like a, like a velvet? Like yeah, it's velvet. Blue, of course. High neck, lovely detailing of the covered Here buttons. Here as well. There as well, and a wrap. A little kind of wrap. And a oh. cinch in at the waist. Oh, oh, oh. So pretty. So spin, little spin. Oh yeah, so cute. Gorgeous. This is a dress that I wanted to pick up in the summer. It went out of stock, it's come back in. They have it in a few colorways. This is like the blue floral. They have it in a yellow floral and a green, I think. Um, 
but this is the color I was looking at and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. It's got a gorgeous neckline. It's got these beautiful like flutter sleeves that are so flattering, I think. Um, it's got a slit at the front, very like Salma Hayek Desperado, I think. Um, this is a size too big for me. You can see it's very like low cut on my boob area. So I'd size down. This still is fun. I think this is a UK 10, so I'd need an eight, but I'm gonna have to get it for my next holiday. I've somehow managed to pick up a load of summer dresses, but when you're at reformation, you just can't help yourself. <clears throat> this is a dress that I was looking at as well in when I was in Italy. Um, not usually like my vibe, but I thought it was really cute. It's in this lemon color. It also comes in a white, uh, but I love like the sleeves, the square neckline. It's those days you want to feel a bit more comfortable, I think, and not have things so fitted. Obviously, I've got no tan, so this is looking a bit washed out on me, but you can imagine. So I was umming and ahhing about this dress, but I've seen it all over the shop, all online. And so I thought I'd try it and actually I really like it. I do need some sort of support in the breast area because it's a bit in your face, but if you like that, that's okay. But you've got this gorgeous like lace detailing that goes around the dress, around the back. It's in this gorgeous silk. It's tailored so well, like I'm not a straight girl. So it's loose in the right areas, not too tight. Absolutely beautiful. And then I was gonna try it on in this color as well, this teal, but I got it in this like burnt orange or copper maybe. I'm not sure which one, which color it is. I'll link it all below. I have got this in a small, so I probably would size down to extra small and see how that fits, but this is really comfortable, like really, really comfortable. I'm back into my clothes, but this top isn't mine yet. Um, but I wanted to try it on. It's got this beautiful pearl detail on the sleeve that goes nearly up to the elbow. How beautiful is that? Um, I'm sure this is cashmere, square neck. I have this on in a size small and I'd probably keep it that way. I absolutely love it. It's a lovely way to dress up like a simple black outfit. I could even wear it with what I was wearing today uh, with the blazer, this underneath, and you would just see this beautiful neckline. I love a square neckline. Um, but yeah, that's it. I could carry on. There's so much more that I want to try on, but I have to go. I have so much to do, um, but I'm coming back. <laughs> I'm coming back and I'll do some more try-ons. We've had a disaster at the bubble tea station. Not we, me. <laughs> That's usually me. And so of course we've grabbed ourselves a bubble tea from Yifang. Oh, we've gone for the taro. <laughs> it's Bloody hell. We've gone for the taro, sago milk, cold, oat milk, no sugar, no ice. It's our favourite. It's a good on-the-go meal replacement. This is, um, taro is like a sweet potato. It's like an actual slim fast. <laughs> <laughs> no. It is, no. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful Clara just looks. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. So we are now in Bond Street. We are rushing about. We are running out of time. We've got an event starting very shortly, but we're going to pick up this bag for our friend. It's from a store called Goyard. I've never heard of it before. Goyard Paris. So it'll be interesting to see what this store is about. We have a bubble tea to hand, taro milk, which is a sweet sort of sweet potato, oat milk, no sugar, no ice, as we like it with sago balls. I'm gonna go grab this bag and then head to our first event. We are not into our wines at all, we don't drink, but hedonism wine stopped us in our tracks. If you are somebody that loves your wines, then this is champagne. Well this part is champagne, yeah. Oh yeah, here. 
then you must check That's this out in Mayfair. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, wine? No, it's champagne. This is wine. Look at the glasses hanging. <laughs> covered in scaffolding but we found it this is Goyard here okay so there was the biggest queue I don't know if it's still there you can see it that's the queue to get into the store I'm so surprised I first time I've heard of this brand um, thankfully they were really nice at the door I could ask if they had the particular bag and if it was in stock it's not in stock they told me the price you can't um, get any prices or stock updates online you have to go into the stores I don't know what's going on, but clearly it's a very um, trending brand. So we're gonna head to, now we're going to Notting Hill to Wonderskin event. One hour no, and 11 that's minutes. Driving. We're not walking. We're that's getting walking. a tube. So we'll see you there. Marchese Pasticceria. How beautiful is this? These are the times that you wish you weren't vegan <laughs> or that they, they had vegan. They have all of the classic Italian patisserie. And if we had time, I would totally check it out. For now, our window shop. In the pouring rain, but we have arrived. busy day yesterday I was so tired by the time we got to that last event I was pooped my phone was pooped it wasn't cooperating I hardly had any battery um but it was a lovely event it was with a brand called VYN sneakers VYN Switzerland it's a sustainable shoe brand and I just want to show you the product because it's that amazing I didn't get a chance to show you also the venue was quite small and um it was packed, absolutely packed. So um, I couldn't show you, but I'm gonna show you now. So this is the box of the trainers, it's a beautiful box. So I'm a 39, I've got a pair here, and I picked the off-white, um, and you'll understand in a moment why I did. This is a unisex shoe, firstly. Um, I know a lot of my male followers, you always want some sustainable fashion for you guys. So this is one for you as well. So this is the shoe and it may look just like a simple standard shoe that you see with most brands. You can get different colours. So like I said, I've got the off-white. There's like a taupe sort of suede colour. There's, I think, navy blue. There's loads and loads of different ones. So I'll pop the details in the description box below. You guys can check them out for yourself. This is obviously a sustainable brand. Everything's um, recycled, sustainable, done sustainably. Workers are paid fairly. But what's extra special about this shoe is that this piece and the heel are interchangeable. So firstly, you know when you wear your trainer and the heel obviously gets worn down, you can replace the heel. So you never wear your shoe down, which I th thought it was fantastic. But not only that, when you change this, you can change this piece for a different colour, a different style. I know the brand are looking at personalisation, so you can literally have the same shoe, but it look different for different outfits, but it's just the one shoe. And I just think that's incredible. So you can see it's coming off. Ah! Need some strength in the morning. Jeez. 
there we go so that's the piece that comes off and like I said this piece comes off as well it goes under the sole so you can see it's now turned into this the secondary color I picked this season I wanted was khaki green I thought this would be the perfect color so there's the insert for the for the back and obviously that's the insert for the heel and then you literally just pop it back on I just think it's absolutely amazing it like for me I'm big on like organized spaces and not having too much stuff and I just think if you have a product that saves you space in your wardrobe like I hate having things upon things needing a literal room for your stuff this is one of those products that you will save so much space with but yet get so many looks from so I've just popped on the khaki like olive green and now you have the same shoe with a different color don't you think that's just incredible not to mention these are probably one of the most comfortable shoes I've ever put on in my life. It literally feels like a slipper and it is made to the highest, highest quality. It's Italian crafted. You can see it, you can feel it. And the price point I feel is incredible for what you're getting. Like I think this is underpriced. Um, it's just such high, high quality. So that's the shoe, VYN Switzerland Trainers beautiful beautiful i cannot wait to style these up and like i said they're unisex so guys and girls you can both get this shoe but like i said i will link everything below for you guys so you can check it out for yourself i know many of you i know most of you wouldn't have heard of this brand it's a pretty new brand they have a pop-up in piccadilly arcade uh, with neem london so if you want to go check it out try them on you can head there and actually feel the product which is something i love to do so also i wanted to show you guys i have a few bits here from luke's so those of you that follow me on instagram would have seen my linen towel that i used over the summer so this is the same brand um and i picked up some candles i picked up sandalwood and bergamo and black pepper and cedarwood and i'm going to put these out today last of like the christmas stuff is going up um, so it's just all the sort of little details now and warming it up. Um, so this will be the candles for this time of year, for this season. They're actually certified organic. They use essential oils, obviously vegan friendly. These have 25 hours burn time. And I love candles like this in this sort of style. It's very understated and neutral and gives you that sort of earthy feel. So oh, absolutely beautiful. So I have two of those and also I picked up, as I loved the towel so much, I thought I'd pick up a throw for the living room. Um, this one's made with natural materials for indoor and outdoor living. So that's a piece I can use now indoors and then take it outside, which is really nice. It says woven by master weavers using traditional methods and natural materials. Our products are made with slow living and longevity in mind and come with a 20 year repair or replace guarantee which is just fantastic and it shows you that the brand have so much confidence in themselves that they're giving you 20 years because you probably won't come back this is a linen and cotton blend one and it's their smaller one so they come in three sizes so i've got the the smaller one so yeah so i'm going to pop that out today i wanted to show you because that's just another incredible sustainable natural brand that just needs more attention it's so frustrating that these are not the brands that are in the forefront because they're really doing things properly but anyway i'm not going to turn this into a big unboxing i just wanted to show you those pieces we also went to the wonder skin event uh, last night and i'm so excited to show you the new products coming through i'm collaborating with them in december so you'll see some more products but just such a innovative brand also they're both actually two very innovative brands it's incredible what they do with their products so yeah Stay tuned for that over on my Instagram, you guys will see. And now I've got a bit of work to do, a bit of content to film, and then we're gonna head to the shops. I'm still looking for a mirror for the bathroom and we still can't decide on lights. So fingers crossed, it literally was Black Friday yesterday. So maybe we're gonna pick up some deals. I'm not sure, but we'll see. I need to get it done before Christmas. Like, can you believe Christmas is in like a few weeks, five weeks maybe? 
maybe six. I don't know, but it's so close and I have so much to do.